Okay, today we're going to stitch our ball back up. And I have let it sit overnight with just the covers wrapped around just to get the covers back curved because by embroidering, when I embroider them, you know, I have to flatten them out. So I just wanted to, to get the basic curve back. And I buy tapestry needles. They have a large eye, but at the end, they're blunt. They're don't, they don't have a sharp point. And I use DMC floss. And I'm going to use red and blue because I'm going to stitch it back up to match the writings in the writing in the bottom. And once I, I cut my floss about um, probably about 75 inches, you know, there's going to be some left over, but I want to make sure I have enough to finish the ball because I don't want to run out halfway through. And I use two needles. So I have one laced up with red thread and one laced up with blue thread. Once I get the thread in the needle, I run it through wax just to um, wax the thread. You can buy wax thread. That's completely up to you. Make your knots. Let me see if I can get to the end of the thread. I hope I got these big enough. Make your knots big enough so when you pull it, it won't come through the um, holes that's already on the ball. To start with, you're going to have real long thread, and then you got all of these stick pins. So you, more or less to start with, you are fighting with your thread. Okay, you want to find a good starting place. I don't want to start here at his name because wherever I start at, that's going to be where I'm finishing at. So I definitely don't want to start on the front of the ball. So I'm going to turn it around and I'm thinking I'm going to start somewhere right here around the catcher or I can go over here where I have to mark the two red. I think I'm going to go over here where I mark the two orange spots and start. So I'm going to have to move this pish pin out of my way. Okay. Okay, to get started, I'm going to take one of my threads, I'm going to start with the blue, and let me see where I was, where was I going to start, over here. Hmm. I'm trying to decide where I want to start. I ain't marked mark that too close to his name, and I really don't want to start there. Okay, let's start over here. This seems like a good starting point. Okay, I'm going to pull it so my knot would be down in the cover. And I'm just going to pull my thread all the way through. Okay, don't worry about your knot because your knot will be hid. Okay, I'm going to lay that needle down. And I'm going to get my red one. And I'm going to start my red one opposite of my blue one. And I got it sticking on the ball, so let me lift it up a little bit. And again, your knot would be hid down there under the cover, so don't worry about your knot. Okay, I'm going to move this stick pin. Okay. Since the red is over here, so that's what I said, your push pins are going to, until you get some of these push pins out, your thread's going to get all caught up on your push pins. Since I started over here at this hole, I'm going to cross and go over to this hole. Make sure you don't cross your Get your blue thread hung up under that. And this takes time until you get the hang of it. Once you get the hang of it, it goes pretty quick. Okay, when you pull it tight, do not pull your thread this way because you can tear through the holes. Pull it this way. 
Okay, once I get the other thread, then I'll be able to pull those tight and show you. Okay, let me move this red thread over here. Usually I hold the ball in my lap and do it, and it goes a whole lot quicker. I want to come under that thread, and I want that red thread to be on top. That's that. Until you get some of this thread used, usually this thread can be a pain in the butt trying to keep it all straight and not get tangled up. Okay, I want to go on the other side of the ball and come up in the, this hole over here. Now I'm going to pull my thread through. Okay, now that I got two and I want to pull it tight, I'm just going to grab my threads here and I'm going to pull it. And now my blue one is going to go back over here. And then I'm going to lay my, this blue thread over here. It goes easier once you get going a little bit and you can take some of those push pins out. So your thread's not getting all hung up on those push pins. Because those push pins can be pretty aggravating. Okay. I can't. Let's turn my ball so I can see my hole. Okay, once you get it, just pull it. And as you go on, you're going to keep pulling it every time you stitch, and that helps close up that seam. Okay, I will be back once I get it all sewed up, and I will show you how I finish at the end.